How's it going guys, RXXC here, and we are finally back uh, with the battle from our tournament that we had at uh, Nubus Games and Hobby. Um, and I'm here with Travis, he's back, say hi. Hey guys. So uh, he had his deck profile done and stuff, and we are here now with the battle. So uh, up on the screen now, you should see uh, the rules that we kind of came up with. So it was best of three for 50 minutes. Uh, you get three points for a win, one for a draw. Uh, no sideboard, because uh, we have no confirmation of anything like that yet. Uh, so we didn't roll with it. Um, if there was a tie or uh, you came to time, it would be three turns. Uh, the active turn would be turn one and then two more after that. Uh, and then it was four Swiss, did we do four rounds? Yeah, four Swiss rounds. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we did allow proxies for this tournament because not everybody has that much uh, access to cards where we are. It just kind of sucks for distribution and stuff. Um, but yeah. So, uh, me and Travis both went in 3-0, and, uh, I mean, I was playing pretty well. I kind of had one little cheesy win against somebody who wasn't rolling very well, uh, but I don't know. How did your games go before getting into this? Uh, well, I actually, uh, round one played against my boy. Uh, his deck's insane, but I, I just, I was rolling better. And I also had a really lucky, I had one really lucky top deck, but I 2 owed him, so I don't know how the third game would have went if he would have actually... If I hadn't gotten lucky that game, but in round two, I played against someone. Uh, he seemed like a newer player, so it it was kind of a matter of like he didn't know what Might and Mac did, so it, oh, kinda okay. just, it was kind yeah, of, you see. know. And then round three, I actually played against someone who, uh, he actually was the only person in the tournament to actually beat me in a game. He uh, he was on his rolls to that day, man. Like, yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> he was... He was just deflecting my shots, and obviously I didn't have any resurgence cards, so I didn't have reroll cards, so it was kind of crazy. Right, yeah. But that was just the first game, and I kind of took him the other two games, so then yeah. it came up to this. Yeah. I had to play against a guy who was playing, like, this mono darkest discard all of your hand <laughs> deck. Uh, did you play him? No, but no. I played against it enough times to know how irritating so. it is. All right, first roll here, first game. Uh... We, we both open. Uh, I'm sighing because I already know how all this goes. Uh, if, if you watch the deck profile or keep up with me on Twitter, spoiler alert, I did uh, not do well in this whole match. This is two games back-to-back, -back, guys, so it's it's one whole round. Um, and I'm trying to throw the cards up on the screen for you to see here. But uh, his Hydras comes out and gets a huge, uh, two cores, actually, and yes. um, just completely clobbers my Nilia, so I have to roll that thing right back up. Uh, because pretty much turn one on my Nilius, if I don't pick up my two cores, I'm only going to be sitting at 900 B power. Um, and if I don't have Nature's Power, that's not going to go anywhere. Or well, if I had Nature's Power, it wouldn't go anywhere, but I can't do anything about my opponents. It looks like I energize a flip card here. Uh, kind of a trend that happened the entire tournament. Uh, I would draw probably one or two flips per my first hand. Kind of sucked, but looks yeah. like I'm going for Nilius again. Uh, but we get what is that stoic shot? Yeah, leading with a stoic. I didn't have a, I didn't have anything that I could play on the roll, so that's usually what I did because I didn't know about the whole domination thing until right, literally the right, day. Yeah. So normally I would have just held it, you know. But so uh, both open again. He's got his dragonoid ultra there, uh, and I try again with my Nilius. So of course I'm sitting again with a 900. Um, yeah, and that. you, uh, yeah. I don't think you could keep up that turn. And then, of course, I do my turn to energy to help me. Uh, usually by turn four, I have my turn to energy. Or turn three, I have my turn to energy, and hopefully I can get my win out. So you lose a Dan there, but you come across your stand together. And, of course, Stays you have one domination. one card of damage. <laughs> right, yeah. So the uh, domination effect helps you out there from your double pickup. So mm -hmm. we cut ahead here. I think we were talking about something, but I'm going to try Fangzor this time. And I fail because the Dragonoid knocks me <laughs> off the Matrix. Dude whips him with his tail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the last turn of this video, guys. Stick around because you got to see what happens because it's just really rough. I think I go for Tangle Vines here. Yeah. Uh, it's one of my rerolls on my deck. Uh, you know I love this card if you're keeping up with the channel. I get a reroll and I miss like a loser. So <laughs> um, he has minus 800 B power, but it has no meaning because I miss and do not open. So. Uh, I come across one of my packs here. Um, helps a lot. Uh, I think I get rid of a uh, yeah, that I get rid of? Like, uh, uh, I Curse of Darkest there. Saves like 8 damage there, I think. Yeah, uh, it saves me a lot, yeah. And then later on, it actually saves me everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like uh, like Pact. Good stuff. That's so. a great card. Turn, uh, turn 3 or 4 here. Looks like you're going for Pegatrix. 
Yeah, um, I already picked up all my green fists, strangely enough, so. Right, yeah, see that. But, I finally opened. Well, the two of you would do. Um, and then I have my Fangzor, and if I land on my shield there, I'm gonna be uh, sitting there with a thousand. Um, I don't know, Did what did you pick up? Uh, that was a shield, so I, I know you play only 300, so. Right, yeah. I think I have all of you, yeah. Tapping up to evolve here. So you go to the Titan, so I can't really keep up, but I'm gonna try with another Tangle Vines, subtracting your, uh, subtracting your B power here. Yeah, just throw it because it's tapped out. Yeah, so Tangle Vines, huge uh, B power help there. Doesn't work against Shadow Strike, but you know, not everybody plays that, so. You come across another stand together. Sucks for me. Um, yeah, that double core came in clutch twice. Yeah, so picking up two cores on the first turn helps a lot when you're playing stand together. Now it's time. The boy. My boy trucks. Uh, it does not at all help me in this in this <laughs> series whatsoever. I just do not have good luck the entire time. Sometimes with rolling and mainly with draws. So uh, I do get a little block here, but psych. <laughs> it, it, it rolls back and opens up on that magic shield. So uh, that sucks. So his Titan Pegatrix is all the way out, and my Trox is just hanging around. I think I landed on a shield, so I'm sitting at like 500 or something. Yeah. Uh, so I just rolled that uh, that little T-Rex right back up. So my team attack actually wasn't too huge there. I think that's what four, uh, seven, so 11, 15, 15 or 16. Which I mean, it's still big, but not. You probably could survive that. Right. I mean, you do hit a flip here, so. Yeah, I have my good old Tiger Reflex, and because I ramped with that turn to energy earlier, uh, it does help me out. Um, Tiger Reflex is great. If you're playing Ventus and you're not playing Tiger Reflex, you... It's crazy. You it's not play it insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it helps out a ton. Um, and you come out with the old Dan Kuzo. Good Visual, old. you want to give us the old... No? Okay. <laughs> Dan Kuzo! Uh, Dan's great. Uh, it helps you out uh, a couple times in this match. Yeah, um, I love dropping them end of turn, so you don't have to risk it on your roll. Right, yeah, it's great. Uh, I have to uh, stick with my Trox here. You rolled up for a team attack, so I'm assuming you're going to go for your Pegatrix again. Uh, I think I actually play it safe here, because I know you don't have any cards. I don't. Because, I mean, <laughs> Pegatrix... I don't have much of anything. <laughs> I mean, Pegatrix is strong, but can't risk not landing. Right. It's a big deal. Oh, I actually do. Yeah. yeah. Good right. old angle shot. <laughs> and I just completely whiff. Uh, I, I promise you guys, I've definitely gotten a lot better on my rolling. Um, but in this match, it, it just didn't work. Uh, I've actually been opening like 80% of the time when all the games I've been playing. Uh, but I just take uh, some good damage right here. Uh, this is where I kind of start realizing I'm probably going to lose this game. Um, and there was a time limit, so I was worried about it, but I was like, no, nah, we're just going to finish it, see what happens. I mean, for the Maybe most part... Maybe he misses all his rolls, so... I mean, for the most part, I don't think any match actually went the time when we played. Uh, we had two get close, but yeah. Uh, the 50 limit, 50 limit, 50 minute time limit, uh, actually worked out pretty well. Uh, it didn't hold anybody back or, you know, mess up anything. So I played Tremor in this deck. Um, this was kind of a recommendation from Matuska. Uh, because one, this helps me fight Might of Cyndius and Mac, uh, because Ventus does not have a lot of help for that. Well, it, it's better now, but uh, originally it didn't. Um, it lets me draw a card if I'm holding a, a, red, a red shield, so I like that card. We both open here. Um, at this point, there's not much I can do <laughs> with the hand I have. I think I have a pack of darkness in my hand and like two cards that don't help me fight at all. And you hit another stoic shot here. Yeah. Off your dam. It only so. gets one draw, but that's really it. That's right. I mean. And then the uh, the great Inferno Wings. Um, messing everybody up. Every time it comes out. Of the field. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, even if you made it to a team attack, it wouldn't have done much damage. Right. So, I lose uh, I lose my cores here. Not that it was helping trucks that much anyway. Um, yeah, for the remainder of this game, I am just teetering on a team attack. Trying to get some damage, and it's just not happening, so. Yeah. I mean, I, I did win that battle, but didn't do any damage because you used the uh, Tremor. Yeah. So, Tremor comes in handy there. Uh, 
I like that card. And I draw another tiger, so I just throw that bad boy down into my energy you zone. You still have a pact in your hand. <laughs> and I still have a pact of darkness in my hand, so not good on my draws. Kind of annoying, actually. My hand's just set up. Yeah. Ooh, that handsome devil with a great hand. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if I can manage to open a Trox. Uh, I'm trying my new Jet Kuzo rule that I've started perfecting, and I get it here. Uh, and it's a Darkest Hydras against a Ventus Trox here. Um, it looks like I picked up my Helix, but you just blast it right off with your Dan flip. Yeah. Um, and I'm really? sitting there looking at that pack of Darkness in my hand, like, why is it not in my deck? Uh, and I think I have two Curse of Darkness in my hand, which will necessarily help me. Um, Help me mitigate yeah. some damage. Yeah, at this point, uh, the game's pretty much lost. I was just... I don't know why I kept thinking, like, oh, my Curse of Darkness could help me here, but it was a team attack, and uh, it wouldn't really do anything. So I'm kind of looking at my stuff here. So um, I'm sure you were feeling confident going into the next round on this, right? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, I mean... Well, I mean, you got obviously you got to take it your point seriously. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's Bakugan. Like, you, if you if you ain't trying, like, you know, sometimes you just start having bad rolls and you yeah. can lose off of that. Uh, so I, uh, I soon find out that I lose this game here. Um, don't ask me why I even played the Curse of Darkest. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking something else. So uh, I went ahead and cut ahead to the second game here. We've got our core set up, and uh, we are ready to go. So... Uh, I think I had one flip card in my hand here, uh, so I just went ahead and turned that into energy. Um, and I felt like I had an okay hand, and it just didn't turn out that way. Um, you, of course, go for your Darkest Hydra start, and me again with my Nilius, trying to get two cores, but I just can't get that to work. I don't know why. Uh, it does not happen for me very often. I do, I do sometimes catch people with my Nilius. His two heads will kind of pitchfork out and catch people and stop them but I just I couldn't get that to work either so yeah <laughs> I just Manilius was very minimal in this match unfortunately I also got my core too so I got the full damage out of my hydras right so was that like seven, seven. yeah uh, hit tiger there miss it because it's too early uh, I think I hit my other flip there that is uh, stop magic shield stop red fit uh, red shield just in case my opponent lands on one of my shields since I am carrying a majority Red shield uh, field. Oh, that's um, actually. I wasn't. I was actually kind of wondering why you were playing that. that makes yeah, sense. I was just kind of hoping that. Yeah, I got five of those on the field. You know. Mm -hmm. So um, that was another idea from Matuska. Matuska built the deck. I just kind of. I just liked it. He. I, I, I tell him what I like, and he makes decks for me, and I just play them. <laughs> <laughs> I make a couple. My Momocon deck, I made myself. We both open here. Do I get my cores with my Nilius? No, I don't. Um, see so again, fails me. Uh, and you play like s courage here. Yep. Uh, you have the domination, scenario. so you get a big bonus off of this. Uh, so it's kind of annoying. I have curse of darkness in my hand. Uh, do I want to do that, or do I want to turn to energy to ramp? And that's the decision I'm trying to make right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is seven damage. Yeah, it's a you lot already of took damage. seven damage already. Yeah. So. Um, forgot what I go with though okay I, I get rid of that damage um, I know you don't really play that many heroes I know you play Dan so I went ahead and got rid of the Garganoids gaze hoping I would get another one later yeah and, I mean uh, Garganoids gaze doesn't do anything to Matt because you already get his effect when you play him right so um, it wasn't necessary to be in my hand uh, and my hand blocks the screen here <laughs> uh, but I kind of land yeah. on the thing and then I always let my opponent pick it up to uh, avoid any like controversy uh, and he did open so we went ahead and gave it to me uh, but I'm sitting at a thousand beat power right now um, with a lot of damage but I don't think I can beat your Pegatrix so I flip over a pact and uh, mitigate whatever that team attack was um, but you go ahead and play this <laughs> great card cycling madness um, controversial card some people like it some people don't um, but when you have two cards in your hand, you don't want to see this played against you. Absolutely. Yeah. Not multiples either. No. Um, so that actually really hurt me in this matchup. This deck does kind of normally run around three cards in your hand. Um, and so getting rid of that actually hurts me pretty bad. Uh, we both miss here. 
Um, I'm going for my little fist and I open and so do you. So we have a battle here. Um, I don't play many evos in this match. Um, this deck really thrives when my evos are out, um, especially Trox um, and the Nilius. Um, but it really doesn't even matter when you play Might of Cindius. <laughs> yeah. And I felt I was like, Actually, oh wait, I could maybe help this because on the on the shield I get a a, a good five core or five damage bonus. So yeah. I'm sitting at seven damage. I was up by two. And that's why we're sitting here for a second. I was like, oh wait, what are you at? And I'm at seven, and you were at like ten or nine. It's nine. Thirty-five yeah. and one. Right. So. Or rather, no. It's uh, nine. I have to take that damage, and I hit my pact, um, and. You're able to tap for it. Yeah, I was able to tap four for it. So uh, I didn't have to sacrifice the one card in my hand. I draw another card, and I think it's another... Um, uh, duh, what's the name of that card? <laughs> <laughs> the black card that saves me. But it uh, doesn't matter when I don't open. So uh, your Hydra's almost picked up two cores again there. Are you rolling them backwards on purpose? Or is uh, he just happening to do that? Uh, that was actually more of a coincidence. I usually don't try to... I usually try to get more precise rolls and just, you know, try to right. get the double cores um, in. Tangle Vines here for my re-roll. I open. Um, and give you minus too. 800. Yeah. Um, got the core for the damage. And this is... Yeah, you win that battle. I think this is one of the two battles I win in the whole match. <laughs> um, so I give you a good seven damage here, um, and I I see I see some hope, um, but I still have a couple Bakugan that I have to open to get a big team attack out. Uh, but you hit Pact and saved you what two damage? Yeah. So three damage. Um, so that didn't feel good. Uh, I draw I draw my Titan Trox, so I I see some more hope. I have to energize to play it, so now it's the only card in my hand, so I'm about to go down to zero, but I have to open. Um, I don't have win, so it's not as good as it could be at all. Uh, yeah, and but that's not even a guaranteed the, win if yeah, you have the lands. Right. Um, but I ha this is the only hope I have, so I miss. <laughs> I just barely catch that core, uh, too. <laughs> I miss, and uh, I say, let me take my damage, um, and uh, it, was, it wasn't a lot. I think... It yeah, it was two. just two. I didn't hit. I didn't uh, have and so game. end of turn, I tap my five and drop that Titan, so I don't have to use that energy this turn. Um, and I think I draw a reroll. I think. That's or like a, a, yeah. Oh, okay. No, it was Tremor. So I draw, try to get a different card in my hand because I have enough energy to play some stuff. And I think I just drew some trash. So uh, I ha I was counting on this open and. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> he opens, kicks me off of the core. I'm freaking out. That's when my hands are going all over the place. I'm freaking out. <laughs> he just knocks me all the way back over to my character card over there. I take the damage. It wouldn't have been so much of a big deal if it wasn't for the team attack. And then we uh, claim a new champion there. So congratulations, Travis. Uh, you won our first tournament, and you got a pretty cool prize out of it. It was uh, cool. I used my Baku Master card to uh, get some... Uh, prizing sent in and they actually sent me a limited edition Dragonoid set so uh, Travis was able to get that and some packs uh, and I got some packs for second place um, and it was a good time so uh, I felt like I used my Balker Master card for the greater good and for the community this time so I wasn't being too selfish I don't I, I feel bad about it sometimes so I felt like this was my version of getting it out there so uh, thanks for coming out and uh, doing this stuff with me man and Congratulations on your win. And I'll win the next one, too. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this battle, uh, make sure you leave a like on the video. If you have any comments about any of the plays you made or anything like that, go ahead and leave them down in the uh, comment section. Uh, we'd love to hear it from you. And uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. We have a bunch of stuff coming out. Uh, trying to increase the quality. I'm working on my editing. Uh, and we're trying to be great. So uh, if you want to be a part of that, make sure you come back. And we will see you next time. Bye.